Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another exciting episode of Happy Valentine's Day. This video is for our daughter. Um, I've been saying we're going to make a video for you, and I keep saying that and don't do it, so here's a video for you. First of all, I'd like to know how you two are doing down there. Um, does he have any work? Does he have prospects for a job? How are you doing? Um, are you staying out of hospital? Do you have your medicine? Do you have food? You still have a roof over your head. Okay. Um, I'm going to show you. I doubt you can afford these books, but you could yes John um okay there's a third book and I'm not sure where I put it well they were both they were all in here um the reason I can't find it is because I was looking at it and I don't know where I put it um, so, oh, I bet it's right down here. Yeah, yeah, right at my feet, and I'm looking to my side. Um, yep, here it is. At the very bottom. Bottom of the stack. Okay, I suggest the two of you get this book. Okay. It's pretty thick. I don't remember how much it costs, but and I do recommend getting the, the revised edition. This. This. This has some this has some interesting little tidbits in there. And there's another book. Let me see if I can get it for you real fast. Up on the shelf. I wonder if they can start doing paperbacks more often. Oh, that's a good uh because I think you have to put nine books on it and get two credits. That's a good um good idea. And about two fifty either that may come out for Okay, here are two books instead of one. And then I'll tell you what my wife just said, what your mommy just said. If oh, here, I found another screw. I think it's to the chair. Oh, okay, good. Right there, see? Put it right there. Okay, there. And. Okay. You okay? Well, I'm having a little pain. Oh, bad. Um. And. To make things easier on you where you live, here's a good book. And this one. And if you notice, we buy books used. We buy, or sometimes they're not used. Sometimes they're brand new, but they they're at the in the discount pile. Other times we get books for free. Like this book was in the discount on discount bin. That's not the price we paid. We we only paid like three or four bucks for this. Not the yeah, I'm sticker sorry. price. I feel the price I know, but That's okay. I'm a big peeler. And um, so, and then there's another excellent book, which is one you should start with. And I don't know where it is. It's called the uh, Complete Tightwads Gazette. It oh, was a newsletter that this looked huge. Yeah, there, this lady used to put used to put out a newsletter called the Tightwad Gazette. 
And then eventually she made a volume one, then a volume two, then a volume three. And then she said, I'm just going to put them all together. And she made a single volume, which is simply the complete Tightwad Gazette. You can get on Amazon, you can get it used. It's, you might be surprised at the little itty bitty things you could do that can make a difference. I say that because I know you two want your own place. I'm sure you don't want to be living where you're, where you, you're living uh, forever or for very long if you can help it. Um, but, you know, having, you know, this kind of information, information that would come from books like this, um, would help you save money by, you know, like we go to the dollar store. It, the dollar store we go to, it's actually a dollar. Right? Nothing is more than a dollar. We have no sales tax up here. Oh, yeah, and we have no sales tax. So I know in Texas. Everything's a dollar. Yeah, so everything's a dollar up here. Um, I know in my experience in Texas was, you know, you buy one item, it has a, a particular tax. You buy another item, it has a different tax. Other times the tax goes up, even if it only goes up two or three cents. Well, I think. In Illinois, things like toilet paper and um, paper towels had a higher tax than regular food did. Um, so, you know, you, I know in Texas there was a store that was a dollar, but there are other places that are called dollar stores that are not a dollar. I know there's Dollar Tree, Family Dollar and Family General, and um, Dollar General. Some of their stuff's a dollar, some of it's more than a dollar. So, um, I'm not going to, uh, how do I say this? I, I, I'm going to mention two items you might, you might want to stock up on. These are over-the-counter items. If you... Know a, a doctor or a nurse that will be honest with you, that will talk to you, that will talk talk you through this kind of thing. That's that's the best way to go. I know it's hard. A lot of doctors they don't want you to use alternative therapies because then they're not making money off of you. Um, you know the the drug companies. Come on, come here, come here. Come here, right here, right here. Come here, Lucky. Come here, right here. You know the the drug companies rely on the doctors to prescribe their drugs, so um, it can be hard finding someone, a professional, who's willing to talk to you about alternatives to you know the mainstream therapies but you can do online research you can you can talk to people there are websites just be careful because Scientology has a lot of front groups and and front web front websites that are frankly BS just a bunch of BS I wouldn't bother with those you don't want their shit no you don't want their their nonsense um, all they do is mess people up. Yeah. So, you know, I mean, there, there's some. I'm not saying anti. I'm not talking about being anti psychiatry. So that's where Scientology goes. They're anti psychiatry. That's not what I'm talking about. That's why I say avoid them. I'm not saying psychiatry hasn't harmed people. It has. I've been harmed, but I've been helped as well. You have to take the good with the bad. And like when you, Tom Cruise saying kids with ADHD don't need to have Ritalin. Yeah, yeah. Like, so fuck you. You know, and so um anyway, so two possible if if you know what hits the fan and you're not able to get prescription drugs, melatonin. The thing is I found out recently that in order for melatonin to work you have to take a rather high dosage of it. And I'm not sure what that dosage actually is. It's just, it. I know it's high. 
because I tried melatonin by itself and it didn't do anything for me. And I was taking what the bottle said to take. And melatonin's over the counter, it's OTC. Yeah. So, uh, you can buy it as a dollar tree. Yeah, so, you know, that's something you might want to think about. Another item is 5 HTP. That one's not going to be as cheap as melatonin. It may be a little more difficult to find. Usually it's a health store, doesn't it? Yeah we, found, yeah, we found it at our co-op. You know, we've been to other places, but the, I think, the health food store. yeah, the health food store and the co-op, I think, both have 5-HTP. Either one of them or both of them. I don't remember now. But 5-HTP, that, like, if it, you know what, hit the fan. My antidepressant, since I wouldn't have this, I would take the 5-HTP in place of this. And although it's not going to do exactly the same thing, a high dose of melatonin would take care of this medicine, which is what makes me sleep. Otherwise, I won't sleep. And um, so, I don't know what medicines you're on, uh, but you know those are those are good. Another thing I've heard is if you're stressed, believe it or not, a couple of aspirins can sometimes help, because it'll like help open up the blood vessels and. Uh, your blood circulation kind of gets going and you kind of feel a little better. I don't know if that's true, but that's what I've heard. I'm not talking, I'm not talking about taking a huge amount of aspirin. I'm talking about taking one or two aspirin. Which, you know, taking an aspirin a day isn't bad for you anyway. It's actually good for your heart. But, um, well, we, we worry about you. We're concerned about you. That's why I'm making this video for you. And again, you know, these books that I, I showed you. Now, with all honesty, this one book right here, it's not the best. It's not like, um, it's not the quality that this book offers. Okay. I know I should have turned that light on right next to my desk, but, you know, it's not going to give you this kind of information. This is going to give you the kind of information like, um, you can see it. Where There Is No Doctor, which is another useful book, but very third worldish. Yeah. Yeah. So this is in line with the, like Where There Is No Doctor, Where There Is No Dentist, Where There Is No Midwife. Okay. I would also recommend uh, Medicine for Mountaineering and Medicine for Mountaineering, and I can't. I don't know what the other one is, wilderness medicine or something. But um, well, uh, medicine for mountaineering is actually excellent. But it, it's dealing more with with uh, injuries and trauma that you actually would wind up having to deal with in a you know what hits the fan situation, um, and you would have to deal with those situations without there being proper medical care. Look, but uh, this book. I recommend for the medical aspect and it'll also give you information on over-the-counter medicine you can use in place of prescription medicine but see the thing is with melatonin and 5-HTP you can stock up on that now so if it ever does happen you'll have a supply so you understand what I'm saying you you'll have a supply so it'll last you at least a little while Hopefully until you can find another alternative. It wouldn't be a bad idea to find alternatives to those two items. But uh, anyway, if you want to know about the weather right now. Um, I went to take a couple of garbage bags to the dumpster. I stepped into the pile of snow that the plow put down there. And it, it went over my knee, and there was still another foot and a half, at least, underneath that. So, it's, uh, it's deep. It's, we have a lot of snow. And they shouldn't be pushing it all in front of the damn trash dumpster, because mm -hmm. that's... I agree. Because, you know, right now, the, the, the people who empty the dumpsters, they couldn't get to the dumpster. I mean, they just... 
we can't really get to the dumpster. Yeah, we can't get to it. And if if one of those big trucks, trucks yeah, stuck out there. Oh. Yeah, and we saw tonight. We saw a. Uh, it was a stretch Humvee, like a limo, no. and it looked like the axle may have broken. The driver's side front driver's side wheel was off at an angle like that. I mean, the lady was standing out there. I don't think she was too happy. But, I mean, what could she do, you know? I mean, and, you know, with the weather like, like this, you know, that kind of thing's going to happen. It's sad to say, but, you know, that kind of thing's going to happen. And, um, so anyway... But um, another thing I wanted to mention that you now I have to find the book. Oh, okay, Lucky. This book, one thing is I see what's on the TV. I don't know what they're saying, but it's about the AR-15. Oh, banning them again? No, it's about like the holding them. Oh, um, the the author of this book, the one thing he he says. Is get a 223 caliber rifle. It doesn't matter what platform you're using. Just get a 223. This, that's what this thing takes. It's an AR-15. Our crazy neighbor lady has her music up. Oh gosh. Um. The one whose husband is back, I think. Her. Monday. Was well, her husband? So let's try to no party. Sheesh. No, my silk hat. 223. Why 223? Because if it hits a fan, who do you th where do you think you're going to get your ammo from? You're going to get it from soldiers and cops and government people. And what are they going to be using? 223 ammo. So get your 223 ammo or get a platform that will handle a 223. Um, but I guess that's all I have to say. Oh. Aaron Gobra, Chucky Arlaw.